Joey is asking about the miraculous gifts of the apostles, the healings, prophecies, uh, miracles, and whether those ceased after they effectively affirmed the apostles as God's messengers. Now, he's not asking whether um, these kind of miraculous gifts are alive and well today. No, he's specifically asking about the purpose of these miracles. Are they solely for the purpose of affirming a man or woman as God's messenger that should be listened to? Uh, no, actually, I don't think so. I can't prove that because we don't have enough data. You see, the book of Acts is primarily about the work of the Holy Spirit, not the work of the apostles. But from the data we know, not just about the apostles, but about God, here's what I suspect. And I'm going I'm to share it with a story. There was a day when Jesus was so exhausted, he so, turned to his disciples and said, hey, let's go to the other side, to the, the, to the other side of the Lake of Galilee. And as they were going, the people saw where they were headed. They're trying to get away, a little R&R. &R. But the people followed them and on foot raced, some of them nine miles around the lake. And when Jesus landed on shore, there was a crowd of 15,000 people, 5,000 men that he fed. That's the feeding of the 5,000. But it began with a statement. Jesus gets out of the boat. Had it been me, I would have said, go away, I'm exhausted. But Jesus said that he saw them as sheep without a shepherd. And he taught them many things. And he healed them. And he fed them. Now, if you look at his priority, it was in teaching. It was in the message itself. But that wasn't the only priority of Jesus. He had compassion on people who were hungry and hurting. And he still does. So, though I can't prove it, Joey, no, I don't think miracles are only to validate the messenger. They are because God loves people, and so should we. If you found this video helpful, could you do me a favor? Just hit the like button, or even better, share it with a friend.